Uh, the rules of BPMN can be used as a roadmap for uh, discovering processes. So I'll show very briefly about, I have an activity that's performed, something that gets done. Well, what do I do after I get something done? What's next? I can do one of three things. I can either make a decision, can perform an activity, or I can wait for an event. Now, I can do this with you all day and play this game of process modeling, uh, and you'll see me do this if you get the chance uh, to, to see me in action when I model a process. I'll ask you a question. How does your process start out? What do you do? Well, you know, this happened. No, no, no. From a very high level, what does your process do? This is exactly how I conduct every single meeting. I'm starting out trying to figure out what is one activity? How does this whole thing start? So, okay, I receive data in some way. And then, can I make a decision based off of that data? Or do I have to do something before I make a decision? Or do I have to wait for more data? That's it. That's all you can do. Anybody have any other ideas? Okay, so, and then coming out of this, uh, it's just kind of a, a flow chart of how you model out a process. So after you make a decision, what can you do? Well, you have an activity or an event that's going to come out of that. And based off of that activity, you would end up here. Based off of this event, you would end up down here. And those are your choices. Those are the patterns. If you follow that pattern, it's going to help you discover the process. And I always ask the questions in the same way.